What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a complete guide to Chicago's Divi system for you. I'll be sharing some interesting facts about the system, my personal tips and tricks, and everything you need to know to get your ride on. The very first bicycle sharing system was set up in Amsterdam all the way back in the 1960s. Divi was established right here in Chicago in 2013. A couple of years later, it expanded to Evanston and Oak Park, two of Chicago's premier suburbs. So what is bicycle sharing? It's a system of stations located all across a municipality, giving citizens access to short-term bike rentals. So a little history of the bicycle in Chicago. Augustus Wheeler is credited as the first Chicagoan to own a bicycle back in 1868. But back then, it was just a novelty. Once England's John Camp Starley invented the modern bicycle in 1885, Chicago quickly became a cycling town, and the Tribune declared it the bicycle center of the United States in 1896, when one out of every five Chicagoans regularly rode a bike. Over the years, as public transportation and cars became more universal, the bike fell a little bit out of favor, but thankfully, recent urban revitalization programs have given rise to systems like Divi. Divi is owned by the Chicago Department of Transportation, also known as CDOT, and managed by Lyft, the ride-sharing company. There are over 600 stations located all across the city, making it a convenient and zero emissions way of getting from place to place, whether for a short trip or a long journey. There are over 6,000 bikes in the Divi system. This guy is built for the rough and rugged concrete jungle with a sturdy aluminum frame, responsive brakes, and flashing lights. With an annual ridership of more than 3 million, Divi bikes are used by Chicagoans, suburbanites, and tourists alike. They're available 24 seven and bikes can be returned to any station. You can find Divi bikes in most Chicago neighborhoods. They go as far south as 87th Street. On the southwest side, they go as far as Millard and 26th Street. West side Divi bikes can be found as far west as Austin and Lake. On the northwest side, they go all the way to Milwaukee and Kyler. And Divi stations can be found as far north as Evanston's Central Street. Each station is comprised of several docks and a kiosk. The simplest way to start riding is to use this kiosk, pay for a single ride, get a code, use that code to unlock a bike and get your ride on. The single ride fee of $3 covers you for 30 minutes and it's just $3 for every additional 30 minutes. You can also buy a day pass for $15 that gives you unlimited max three hour rides in a 24 hour period. The official Divi app has seen considerable improvements over the last few years. You can now use it to scan the QR code on the bike, unlock it and pay as you ride. It also allows you to check the map to see stations around you as well as bike availability. You can add or edit your payment type, see your ride history, and pay for an annual membership. Annual memberships are $99 and give you unlimited 45 minute rides. Most colleges in Chicago offer a university annual membership, which is $75. Other memberships include Divi for Business and Divi for Everyone. This bike has an adjustable seat, responsive brakes, fender guards and chain guard, three gears, a secure front basket, flashing lights, and a sturdy aluminum frame. Be careful with it because a lost or stolen bike fee is $1,200. You don't wanna come out of pocket for that, do you? Here are my personal tips and tricks to get in the most out of your Divi experience. Utilize the app to check the map for nearby stations and bike availability. Before you choose a bike, make sure to inspect it thoroughly. Then once you undock it, check it again. Things you wanna look for are the responsive brakes, tire pressure, and the flashing lights. The Divi bike has three gears. I personally don't like the first and switch between the second and third. The Divi bike has a bell. Make sure to let people know you're coming up behind them. If you have an activity monitor on your watch, be sure to set it before you start riding. That way, you can track those calories and see your route after the fact. Sometimes when you go to return a bike, all the docks at a station might be full. In that case, you can either wait for someone else to rent a bike or go to a nearby station to dock it there. If you're running out of time on your rental, use the kiosk to select, I need extra time, and you'll get another 15 minutes to dock that bike. When you go to return a bike, make sure that green light flashes to ensure you're not being charged for time you're not using. And finally, make sure to wear a helmet whenever possible. Here are some of the rules of the road. Do not ride your Divi bike on the sidewalk. I see this all the time. Sidewalks are not bike lanes. Utilize the bike lanes that are in the road. If you must be on the sidewalk, walk your bike. Yes, you can get a citation for riding a bicycle on the sidewalk. Make sure to use your turn signals to alert pedestrians and drivers around you. 
Left turn, right turn, right turn. Ride with the flow of traffic, unless you're in a two-way bike lane like Dearborn Street down in the loop. Follow all the rules of the road you'd normally follow, like obeying traffic lights, yielding for pedestrians, etc. Don't ride distracted. Wearing your headphones or using your phone while riding a bike is illegal. Personally, I've used Divi bikes many times, which is perfect for me since I don't have a bicycle of my own. In the summers, I love to ride home from my office in the loop a few times per month. Unfortunately, with the whole pandemic going on, that's not gonna be happening this summer. When friends and family are visiting from out of town, I love to utilize the Divi bikes to take them for rides all around the city. And sometimes your boy just likes to take lakefront rides to enjoy the scenery and get in that cardio. It's a great system and I'm truly grateful to have it here. Chicago is an okay city for bikes. There have been several improvements over the last few years, but I'd really love to see more major changes in the future, like more dedicated bike lanes, less space on the roads for cars, and tougher regulations for vehicles that park in the bike lane. I'd also love to see Divi come out with another type of bike, like maybe a mountain bike, or hey, even a unicycle. Overall, more Chicagoans need to start riding bikes if we care about our environment. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you did, go ahead and finesse that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Remember, more bikes mean a cleaner planet, which is good for all of us. I'm out of here for now. Peace.